If you've clicked on this video, you probably already know that Big Brother UK is coming back in 2023 and I am so excited. I had to make this video. I want to talk about the things that I'm hoping to see in the upcoming season. I want to talk about the problems that I've had with Big Brother in the past and the things that I love most about it. You should know that I'm a Big Brother super fan, okay? Well, I'm talking away, let me know in the comments your favourite seasons of Big Brother, your favourite contestants, your favourite tasks. Tell me what you hope to see in the upcoming season and I am just so excited, like, I, I can't, I can't even hold in. If you're new to this channel, I should warn you, there's probably going to be some explicit language and possibly some opinions you don't agree with, so if you're easily offended then this is not going to be the video for you. Before I get started, I really want to hear people's opinions. Have you watched any other Big Brothers? What's been your favourite? What other reality TV shows do you think I should watch? What are you looking forward to the most? I'm honestly not interested in anybody who's got to say, oh, Big Brother's had its day, more crap on TV. Do you know what? Nobody gives a fuck, right? There's literally thousands of other channels that you can watch. There's thousands of other shows that you can watch. Go and read a book. Go and tuck your kids into bed. Go and fucking have a wank, right? Nobody cares. Just let people be happy and watch what they want on TV. I don't like the news, but I don't think it should be cancelled, right? So move on. So for everybody who actually likes Big Brother and is excited about it, welcome and let's go. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I am a Big Brother super fan. I've watched almost every episode of Big Brother USA. I've seen every episode of Big Brother Canada and Australia and almost every episode of Big Brother UK until it became so toxic that I couldn't even deal with it anymore. So I am so excited for this to be coming back. And I do hope that there's a lot of changes. I hope that they don't bring it back exactly as it was before because that shit was getting crazy. When Big Brother UK first started, I absolutely loved it. I used to watch it all the time. And they used to do live streams at night where you could watch them sleep. And for some reason, I used to sit and watch that, right, like many other people did. Not really sure what was going on there. But in school, they asked us to do a talk about society. And I got up and done a talk about Big Brother. Then we had to do a talk, like, the next year about, like, our life goals. And I stood up and said that my, in my life goal, I wanted to be in Big Brother. And do you know what? I'm now 38 and that goal has not changed. Some of the things that I really want to see from Big Brother is real people, right? I don't want any more celebrity TV shows. Every now and then I'll watch a celebrity TV show like The Mass Singer and I'll really like one of the contestants and that's fine. But I'm sick of watching these shows. I just want to watch real people do these things. And I really hope that they bring real people into Big Brother. Like, I watched Love Island this year and I thought it wasn't too bad and I thought that they should bring out one with older people and apparently they're going to be making that, so that should be quite good to watch. But for Big Brother, I just want to see real people. Now, there's got to be nothing wrong with, like, one influencer being in, like, a big influencer with million subscribers, right? Fine. But, I mean, they could have somebody, like, 39 for Scotland who's got roughly 7,000 subscribers on YouTube, is a Big Brother super fan, nothing amazing about their life, just working a regular job, not really talented at anything that they can do on TV or on YouTube, do you know what I mean? I can't think of anybody in particular, but, you know, I'm sure there's somebody out there. I really want to watch Trevor from London, who's just split up from his eighth marriage and has got 30 kids. I want to see Anna, the postwoman, who's training to be a nail technician. I want to watch Jemima, who works in McDonald's. I just want to watch people, real people. I don't want them all to be a size 0 8. Right, like there can be skinny people, there can be bigger people, there can be white people, there can be black people. Like, in all the Big Brothers that I've ever watched, I don't remember anybody being in a wheelchair, right? And most of that is because of the tasks and stuff. But if you want to be diverse, you know, put somebody in there who's in a wheelchair. I can't think of any contestants, but let me know if you know any. What I don't want to see is over diversity. Right, because that's obviously the way the world's going. I don't mind having gay people, transgender people, like, whatever you want, right, pansexual, non-binary, whatever. But I hope that they don't make it, like, one of every single person. Right, one of every single sexuality, one of every single whatever. Right, because it's getting to the point, it's like, we want to be inclusive, but it gets to a point where it's, like, way too much. One thing that I hope to see a lot less of in the Big Brother UK house is alcohol. I feel like they've always plied them with alcohol and just made them look like dicks. 
they all start fighting and it's really toxic. Like Big Brother UK is the most toxic one I have ever watched and it's one of the things that put me off. Like years ago when I had watched it all the time, I don't know if you remember Helen, right? She was an escort and she was one of the escorts that had went with Wayne Rooney. And when she was going in, everybody was booing her and everything and I was like... She's an escort, right? It's not her job to turn around and say, oh, I know you're married, I can't take your money, right? It's her job to take the money and just, like, do whatever it is that she's willing to do for that money. So I was like, why is everybody pure hating her, right? Just because she's an escort, it's a job at the end of the day, right? But then as she was in the house and I was watching it, she was a cunt. She was, she was a bully and she was a cunt. I couldn't stand her. And then she ended up winning. And... The people of the UK, they always vote for the most toxic, bullying, just absolute fucking arsehole, right? And I was starting to get sick of that. So after she won, it really put me off Big Brother UK. And at this point, I, I had already caught up with, like, all the other Big Brothers. And I thought, you know, Big Brother UK is really not good compared to some of the other ones. And it's just, they just want them to fight, they want them to look bad, they want the public to really hate people. And it's not nice and I really hope that they don't do that this time. Another thing that I don't want to see is old contestants. I can't stand it when they bring back these old contestants and think that they're going to get views. Like I was enjoying a season of Big Brother and then they brought Helen back in it and I was like, are you actually for real? I have to look at her fucking stupid bitch face again. Can't stand her, right? Literally cannot stand her. And I just, I hope that they don't do that to hope to get views. I want to see new people. I want to see fresh faces. I want to see actual reality. One thing that I hope to God, I pray, it's probably never going to happen, but I hope that they make it like Big Brother Australia. Big Brother Australia is the best by far. In case you haven't seen any other Big Brothers, Big Brother USA and Canada are basically the same. It's all about physical comps. They do assault courses. Like You have to be fit. It doesn't really have any personality and they always have like the jock, the cowboy or whatever and the person who's like the self-proclaimed alpha and as soon as they come out with that I'm like, do you know what, get rid of them. Nobody should be calling themselves an alpha and just deciding that they make all the decisions in the house. Can't stand people like that. Anyway, I'm getting off track, right? So it's all about competitions and you don't really hear from Big Brother, like maybe it'll say please come to the diary room or whatever but there's no actual Big Brother. And when they're talking about the comps and stuff, they're in the diary room, like as if they're trying to be TV presenters, like, oh my God, I was feeling this, oh my God, I was doing that. And it's like, there's no need to act like that, right? Like, nobody talks like that. What are you doing? Are you auditioning to be a children's TV presenter? Please stop, right? Big Brother Australia, on the other hand, is spectacular. Although they've got big productions and physical activities and stuff like that, They've actually got a big brother who speaks the same voice all the time. Must be computer generated because he can't be there 24-7. But he's actually got a personality. He talks to the people. Like if they say goodnight big brother, he'll be like, goodnight housemates or whatever. And I just, I just love him. Like I love big brother for big brother, not just the contestants. The actual big brother himself makes the whole show. And I love it. And also the house guests decide who's going to go. Right, they vote. And then at the end, the public decide. So the last two seasons, they've pre-recorded Big Brother Australia. And then they come out the house and then at the end, the public vote, which is different from what they used to do. But I just, I just love it. I really actually prefer when the house guests get to vote who leaves. Because when the public's voting all the time, people start to get bullied. And let's face it, the UK public are, are complete cunts. Don't get me wrong, there is a few problems with the house guests deciding who leaves. Obviously, it seems like certain people are being bullied, but also in Big Brother USA, there was a season where a lot of the public were complaining that they were being racist and all the white people were voting out all the non-white people, and they were saying the show's racist, they need to put a stop to this, blah, blah, blah. So in that season, I stopped watching it because I kind of felt the same. But then it was either the year after or two years after and then all the black people were voting out all the white people. And it wasn't like, oh, are they doing that? Like, it wasn't a secret. They had an alliance called the Cookout. And it was all, I don't know if they were all black, but they weren't white, right? And they had got together and they openly said, we're going to vote out everybody who's not white. And then when the people were getting evicted and they were talking, 
and they were saying, oh, they've obviously got an alliance together and they're voting out all the right people and fair play. And I'm like, do you know what? Not fair play, not fair play. Because when all the white people were voting out the people that weren't white, it was a big, massive race war and it was a massive deal, right? And I did think that it was a massive deal as well. Like, you should not vote somebody out because of their skin colour. But then when the, the cookout were openly saying, we're going to get rid of all the white people, and it was accepted, it was just accepted and nobody said anything about it. And I was like, ah, no, no, right, no. That's obviously an issue. But to be fair, that possibly could happen with the public as well. But there would be no proof. Like the public aren't going to come out and say, let's vote out all the white people or let's vote out all the gay people or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I'm still infuriated by that because it's one rule for one race and another rule for another when actually we should all be treated equally. Something that's concerning me about this new season of Big Brother is the public. I've watched Love Island twice. I watched it a couple of years ago and then I watched it this year. And there was a guy in the house called Luca. And it's sometimes he had a bit of an attitude problem, right? It was nothing too extreme. And apparently there's been thousands of complaints about his attitude. And I was like, do you know what? See if somebody is going to complain about something so stupid. Don't watch TV. There's people who literally should not be allowed to watch TV. They shouldn't be allowed out the house. When I found out that they were complaining about it, I was like, ah, oh my God, I actually get a grip. Just so you know, I'm just about to talk about some violence and sexual content that I've seen in other Big Brothers in the past, just to give you a warning. Obviously, I've watched Big Brothers from other countries and I've searched for other English-speaking Big Brothers. And at one point, I tried to watch the Brazilian one. And for some reason, like when they were talking in that house, sometimes they were speaking in English and sometimes they were speaking in other languages. So that must be really confusing for somebody who comes from Brazil and they don't speak English. But basically they were speaking different languages and there was an argument in the house and this woman was shouting at this guy and I think he like spat in her face and like totally slapped her in the face, right? And I was like, oh my God, so dramatic. I didn't even know what they were arguing about. I couldn't watch it obviously because I didn't have a clue what they were saying. I also had seen some of, I think it was Holland and at one point they had a glass swimming pool and they were walking about like naked half the time and they were having sex in this glass swimming pool and the producers had to actually say to them like you're going to have to stop having sex in the house because we've got nothing to show on air. So that must have been a bit crazy. But in the UK one there was other people who had sex on the show and that and it didn't actually show you right but it showed you like you knew what was going on. I don't know if you ever remember the last who got drunk and ended up sitting on a bottle. And it just showed you the faces of the people watching her and it was like, oh my God, like the actual look on their faces was better. It was just like the best thing ever. And I don't know if you remember, but there was one season of Big Brother Under 18s, which I absolutely loved, right? But there was only one season of it. And this boy and girl ended up having sex. And the lassie went into the diary room the next day and asked for the morning after pill. And I was like, oh my God, in all the years I've been watching Big Brother, I've not seen this happening, right? Somebody going in and asking for the morning after pill. And they were under 18. So I think because that happened, they ended up like not doing another under 18s one. But the prize at the end was like a trip around the world. And one of the guys ended up falling asleep on the last day and he was told that he wasn't allowed to win because Big Brother told them that they're not allowed to sleep all day, that they're not allowed to stay in bed, they're not allowed to nap, because obviously they want to film stuff that they can show on TV. Anyway, I'm getting off track again. But basically, so much stuff happens on Big Brother, right? Like, in the American one, there was this guy and Lassie who were like talking to each other, they were like, I don't know if they were flirting or if they were threatening each other or what, if it was like some sort of mixed activity that they had going on. But this guy picked up a knife, right? And he was talking to the lassie as if he was like trying to go with it and he was like holding it up to her throat. And then, the, I, I don't know, I can't remember if they were arguing or what, right? But he held it up to her throat and then he got called to the diary room. And then I had, for some reason, I ended up remembering this and I looked it up and it turned out like one of them was in jail or whatever now. And I was like, oh my God, so dramatic. I've just realised that I've been filming this video for like 40 minutes. I'm obviously really passionate about Big Brother and I'm going to be applying. The problem is that when I watch all these comps, these physical comps, I'm like, there's no 
way I'd be able to do that. Like, literally no way. You want me to hold on to 50% of my body weight? No chance. You want me to do an assault course and then bring back all these letters and make the biggest words? Hello, I'm dyslexic, right? But I feel like I would be so bad at it that it would just be hilarious because I'm not, I'm not competitive, right? I would want to go into the house and at least make it to the end, but it wouldn't be about winning. It would literally be about the experience and I would be just so bad. Like, I don't care about making an arse of myself, right? People would be like, she can't do any of these tasks, she can't spell, she can't remember what day somebody got voted out or whatever, but I just really, really, really want to be there. And it's not as if I'd be doing the comps like, oh my God, I need to win. I need to get HOH or I need to be like whatever it is that the UK one is going to do. I would just literally want to be there for the experience and the social game. And uh, I just, I need to apply. And if I don't get in this year, I'll keep applying until I get in. This has literally been my lifelong dream. Right. It doesn't matter to me how crap I am at doing everything in the house. I just want to be there. Something else that I would really like to see is actual reality. We all know that in Love Island, contestants have left because they've been told that they have to pair up with certain people and kiss them and pretend that they like them for the drama. We all know that in Big Brother, they have people coming in and setting up things in the house and all that, and they make out as if the housemates haven't seen anybody for months, when actually they've had cast members in and out. Like, I just want things to be transparent and real. I don't think that's too much to ask. Obviously, you've got The Only Way is Essex and stuff, which I don't watch because it's scripted reality. All reality TV has got some sort of script or some sort of things that they don't show the public. And I would really just love this to be really real. Anyway, I think I've spoken enough about Big Brother for one day. I hope you've let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.